Hi guys, I'm Ryan Houston and welcome to my Fly Tying channel. The channel contains hundreds of different videos catering from beginners right through to the more advanced tires and covering flies and patterns from all around the world. If you like what you see, stick around until the end of the video where generally you'll find the pattern description and don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. Let's get on with the show. So we're going to explain how we make uh, a mixed wing for one of these cork style flies. So, I suppose a lot of people that aren't really familiar with classic salmon flies are used to uh, seeing married strips of feathers together. And what a lot of people will do is, uh, what we're looking at here is what will be tied as the, the near wing to me. I uh, would be used to them tying with this side of the feather. When creating these wings, it's the opposite of what I'm creating, is a tips down approach. And I'm using the natural curve of the fibers to get that wing shape. So what I'll do is I'll take my uh, bunches and I'll set them uh, one side for one wing, one for the other. And instead of marrying them together vertically, what I'm going to do is create like sheets, uh, like sheets of paper. So uh, this wing calls for golden pheasant tail. So if we take a strip like this. This is going to be my near wing, so I have the downward curvature. I'm going to set this off to one side. And you notice I'm not going to be counting strips or counting fibers. So I'll take another feather then and take a strip off for the far wing. Set it here. Bit of bustard. You look at the pictures of these flies in the core collection, there's not very many fibres in them anyway. Um, so, a few fibres here, a few fibres there. It's almost creating like a hair wing idea, that sort of looseness of it. So I set the bustard on top of that. Then it calls for a variety of different coloured swans. So we've got uh, green, yellow, red and light blue. And I take a few fibers of the green and set it on. <laughs> Yellow. And the proportion of colour you put into these wings is up to yourself, you know, like you can have a predominantly natural coloured wing with the uh, golden pheasant and the bustard elements, or if you want it to be more colourful then you increase the proportion of our swan. So that are, that's our wing bundles made. So you can simply pick it up like this and tie it on if you want. And it'll give you that sort of loose but heavier sort of bars, bigger strips uh, look. I would sort of pinch down the tie-in point of it. You can simply use your nail and take these different elements and separate them. Split them up if you want. You can take your bundle and rip them apart and layer them back on top of each other and do that several times to mix your wing up. But don't be pressy with it. The fibre falls out, just set it back in and you'll get this sort of rough wing. 
the other option here is that we take all of our strips lay them on top of each other like this and then take a brush this is like a mascara brush and brush through it or brush through it from base to tip then I swap and put my fingers on the tip to hold it down and then brush back the other way and that will separate out the bases then just bundle the thing back together and again just be rough with it Again, if you want, you can simply pull it into bits and just keep putting them back together. Eventually you'll end up with this, as I said, mixed approach. So now what I would do then is take the two wings, so that's the far wing down below, match up the near wing on it for length, sort of just set it down on top of it, grab the whole thing. And a gentle stroke. You don't want the thing to start marrying together and if it does again just just pull it apart. And that's now ready to go on. So some of these wings will have bits of uh, tippet etc under them. Uh, so I'd put that on as an underwing. A lot of them have a bit of tippet as the over on top. Uh, some of them have mallard into them. Uh, if you want you can add all of that now if you want. Um, but I tend to put it on as I'm going along. Uh, it gives me a little bit more control over the final uh, look of the wing. But as I said, if you want, you add it all in now. Same, you can, if it calls for bits of duck or whatever into it, again, you can add those in now and put it on as one shot. Or what I'm going to do is to uh, put this construct of the wing on and then add the other bits to the side. So thank you for watching until the end of the video. Please take this opportunity to hit the subscribe button down below, uh, tell your friends about the channel and if you want to watch some more of my content then check out some of the uh, links that are appearing in your screens at the minute. As per usual I hope you enjoyed the video so until next time, tight lines and thanks for watching.